I like to jump, jump, cut, cut, jump, 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 jump. This is a jump cut, kids. What the heck is a jump cut? Gosh, lots of people are saying they're bad. Ooh, they're bad. Don't do jump cuts. Ah, I'm doing it anyway. Hey, a jump cut is a great way to cut out ums and ahs. A jump cut is a great way to shorten your videos, get straight to the meat, and give people what they want. Most importantly, jump cut editing makes it possible for you to get comfortable in front of the camera, cut out the bad stuff, keep the good stuff, and edit a high quality video that you upload to the YouTubes. And then the kids can go crazy. In this video, I'm gonna share with you just how easy it is to create a jump cut video, whether you're on an iMovie uh, on the Mac or maybe Final Cut Pro, maybe you wanna edit on your phone. Oh yes, jump cuts on your iPhone. Brian, tell them, tell them about jump cuts on the iPad. Did you know you can do jump cuts on the iPad? In this video, we'll cover all those things and more. Stick around. Dig it. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson helping you to stake your claim, amplify your message, and inspire action. The very thing that's needed for success. Like people clicking subscribe, people signing up to your list, people buying products. Inspire action and you'll win. One of the ways we can do that is by creating great edited videos for YouTube. I love the jump cut. It's simple, it's easy. Let's jump on the computer. I'll show you how you can create a jump cut too. So first off, we have to address exactly what is a jump cut. In here it says a jump cut is an abrupt transition from one scene to another. And it's often used in television in order to basically cut out bad mistakes. Maybe you jumble a line, you say something funny, maybe you burp, hey, it's happened to me. And, <laughs> and what's interesting is that that's how the jump cut began. It was a mechanism in which we could edit to remove flub ups. And what happened really was it created a type of style of video that's super popular on YouTube. And I, I love the jump cut. And I wanna show you one of my most successful videos. Now this video in three months has 12,400 views. It's been liked 196 times and uh, it just does super, super well. And I wanna draw your attention to the number of uh, scenes or frames in the first six seconds. Let's play the clip. Would you like to add special effects to your iPad iMovie? Movie? Movie? I'm talking cool effects. So notice uh, I start off and uh, the first thing I say is what the video is about. Would you like to create cool effects for your iMovie? So here's that scene. Would you like to add special effects to your iPad iMovie? Move. And then notice I get a lot closer to the camera and I step uh, forward, but you don't see that. I cut straight to that scene. Your iPad iMovie? Movie. So there it is, I'm a little bit closer now. I've basically closed the distance between me and the camera by about half. And I say movie again in kind of a quirky way. And then again, and this time I'm all up your face, I step a little bit closer and uh, it's abrupt. Movie. So uh, let's look at it again. Would you like to add special effects to your iPad iMovie? Movie, movie, I'm talking. And that is a jump cut. And again, uh, traditionally it was used to create, a, uh, to reduce ums and ahs, but today, Jump cut is a really, really popular style of video editing. And at the end of the day, that's what we're talking about, video editing. Alrighty, let me show you how easy it is to create a jump cut. And ultimately, we're talking about video editing. You can create a jump cut on your uh, Macintosh. You can create a jump cut on a PC. You can use Final Cut Pro. You can use iMovie. You can do a jump cut on a phone or an iPad. I chose to do it on iPad because it's a really simple interface 
And if you're editing a lot of your videos on either a phone or an iPad, I'm gonna recommend that you use iMovie to do a jump cut because it offers a lot of flexibility with trimming, cutting, clips, uh, and that's really what a jump cut is. It's having the ability to split a clip and then trim it to where you want it to start and end. Let me show you exactly what that looks like. Now before we get into this jump cut example and tutorial, I wanna mention that I've got a tremendous video available on iMovie overall. That is iMovie for the iPhone or iPad. If you're getting familiar with video editing on your phone or iPad, I'm gonna to link to that video now in the YouTube card. Watch that video first to get the basic understanding of how iMovie works and then come back and watch this jump cut example. So notice in our main timeline down below, you can kind of see this is my clip and it's one continuous clip. And notice that right now, those waveforms are getting closer and you can see the entire clip is two minutes and 42 seconds. And uh, you can see the whole clip in, in the uh, panel. However, if I pinch it apart, I can see more of the individual frames. And this is exactly what you wanna do to be able to identify where exactly you wanna split a clip, where you wanna start a clip, and so on. So first, I'm gonna kinda scrub through my video. And, and the intro that you saw basically started right here. So if I wanna go ahead and I wanna split the clip here, and again, this is specifically for iMovie for an iPad, it's very similar on an iPhone, and you can do these same kind of things, whether you're on Final Cut Pro, whether you're on iMovie for the Mac, maybe you're using Filmora. The basics are simple. You select your clip, and then you're gonna split it, and notice uh, we're on Actions in iMovie, and one of my options are Split. So I'm gonna select Split, and now notice the clip on the right is uh, highlighted in yellow. So instead of one clip, we now have two, and I'm gonna uh, click on the clip on the left, which I just did, and I'm gonna delete that because I want the clip to start right here. So, and then now notice, I want you to kind of notice what happens right in here, jump, jump, and then I kind of step up over here, and now I'm in a new angle. And this is exactly what a jump cut is. It's basically splicing and, and having these abrupt kind of changes. So I'm gonna come to about right here where my hands are down. I'm gonna tap on the clip again. I'm still on actions. I'm gonna select split. Now I can split the clip again, or since the clip is highlighted, I can simply place my finger on the thick yellow line on the left and I can drag it towards the audio wave files and that will trim the clip. And that looks great right there. And this is basically exactly what I did on Final Cut Pro to edit the intro of the video that you just watched, this video. Let's take a look and see what we have so far. And there you can see, so I notice the distance. I'm a little further back, now it's a new angle. And now again, I'm moving around. See this right here? I know I'm gonna cut this out. I know that I'm gonna cut this. So basically, right there, I wanna split again, and now I'm gonna come in And you can see we are creating an awesome little jump cut in a split. And now I'm looking for the wave and I'm gonna drag and drop. I'm gonna trim the clip. And now let's look what we got. Notice all the different uh, abrupt angles. Another different angle, another angle. Now let's, let me show you another kind of fun thing that we can do. So right here, we go up, we go down, we go up, we go down. So right here, well it's end, ending right there. So what I'm gonna do is, if I wanted to right here, I could split this clip again, and this ends about right there, and I could split that. Now one of the things that I do too, is I basically 
leverage the editing flexibility to, to zoom in or zoom out on a particular clip to give me another kind of a jump cut sequence or, or look, right? It's like you're, you're getting closer, you can cl uh, zoom in, you can zoom out. And to do that, all I'm gonna do is select the clip and then notice in the right hand video preview, there's a little plus sign. I'm gonna click that and it says pinch to zoom video. So now I've done that and I'm good. And now watch this, we get this far away and now it's even closer. So let's play it again and see what we got. And there I go and I'm like, yo. So right there, I'm gonna split, I'm gonna delete that clip. And this is the process of creating a jump cut for your videos on YouTube. It's that simple. Now, here's the power of a jump cut. Now notice I didn't have a whole lot of flub ups. I do plenty of them, I just didn't have any in these sequences. But when I do mess up, I can easily go in, I can delete, I can select, I can trim, I can splice clips, I can remove the mistakes, and that allows me to deliver my message faster. It, it's, uh, it's more engaging. People don't wanna hear ums and ahs, even though I've had a few of them in this video, and so on. Now I wanna share with you what I talked about as far as creating videos that drive results and leveraging the power of editing to make that happen. Here's what happens. I'm gonna use my iMovie example, it's a good one. I want you to think about three specific things that are tied together and how you do on each three of these things will give you a great shot at creating a video that does really well. And by doing well, uh, we're talking about ranking in search, keeping viewers engaged and so on. The first thing is to identify a keyword term that people are searching for. So I uh, type in iMovie and I see iMovie tutorial is one of the first suggestions. So I'm gonna click that. And what are the three things that are really critical to your success? Well, first, item number one is creating a thumbnail that is easy to read, that conveys the value that your uh, video is gonna deliver and is captivating, it's fun and it's engaging. And look at some of my competition. Uh, the video above me, their thumbnail is very boring. Um, Eric's video thumbnail is better. I think it's a little too busy. I really like simple, clean, and when you see my thumbnail, it kind of gives you an idea that this is an iMovie tutorial about the iMovie app. Perfect. Now, if I click on that, the next thing you want to do is you want to convey that this video is about exactly the thing that my thumbnail teased. And you wanna let people know that, hey, if you're looking for a video on iMovie, on a tutorial, an example, you wanna let people know that you're in the right spot, I'm gonna deliver exactly what my thumbnail promised. And right here, I'm talking about being able to edit um, on your phone or your iPad quickly and easily using iMovie. And I do that within a few, first few seconds. And if you look at this, this video itself, within the first few seconds, I'm jumping around and it's goofy, but I want you to think about a few things. I'm talking about a jump cut, I'm dancing around, I'm kind of rapping, and that's conveying that this video is gonna be about jump cut and it's also engaging and it's fun to watch. You wanna keep people watching. It's interesting, I've seen a lot of really successful YouTubers and they talk about, you know, I'm gonna create a video on this subject and maybe they, they're gonna cover an app and then they get into the video and they start talking about Instagram. And I'm thinking about one very successful YouTuber and his video and it didn't do as well as mine and I think the reason why was people were interested in the app and as soon as his video started, he started talking about Instagram and not the app. So his thumbnail talked about the value they were gonna gain when using a certain app to edit images. And then when the video began, he's talking about Instagram and you didn't even see the app for maybe a minute. And uh, when it comes to YouTube, 
Uh, YouTube is Land of Attention Deficit Theater. And you've got to captivate an audience. You want to grab attention and you want to deliver immediately. So this video, I'm talking about jump cuts. I'm, I'm having fun. It's engaging. And then I, I tell you, we're going to talk about uh, jump cuts in this video. Stick around. Then I go into my brand uh, intro. And then from there, I'm in the meat of the video and I'm explaining, I'm educating, I'm demonstrating, I'm providing information that you can use to create a jump cut. And that's exactly what my thumbnail promised. It's exactly what the title of my video promised. And I conveyed that I was gonna cover that information in the first 15 seconds of my video. If you do a good job with all those three things, A, identifying the keyword, B, creating a title that represents the keyword you're going after. C, creating a thumbnail that uh, conveys the value around that keyword. And D, then mentioning that exact phrase and talking about how this video is about that thing in your first 15 seconds. So that's actually four things. I added the keyword phrase in there you will do really well because more people will end up watching your videos and you're gonna get straight to it. I hope you found this video to be helpful. My name is B to the G, I'm on the TV here on YouTube. If you're interested in video marketing, specifically editing video, doing well on YouTube, breaking down the algorithm, building an audience, leveraging YouTube, whether it's to create a channel, um, drive leads for your business, whatever the case may be. These are all the things that I cover. Make sure to hit that red subscribe button right now and I'll see you on the next video. Poof, pixie dust.